All right, you guys. So today we are going to get a look at three figures in the Black Series line of figures, starting with our Nalen Chilo of the Moto Nodes. And then we are also going to get a look at Boba Fett, Throne Room from the Book of Boba Fett. And then lastly, we're going to get a look at Black Christensen, from the Star Wars comics, guys. So we're gonna get a look at all three of these figures, guys. So of course, because we have three figures, we're gonna kinda do our best to rush through this so we don't have such a long video. And then also, please forgive the background. I know it looks a little crazy, but hopefully when we get to the diorama portion of this video, it will all make sense. So guys, starting with the box, uh, per usual for our normal style of boxes here. We have our Star Wars logo with the Black Series logo. And then of course we have our window with all of the accessories and figures in the window. And of course, as we see, Nayland comes with a bunch of accessories, almost a full band set. I can't wait to get the full band. I don't have them all as of yet. And then of course we have Boba Fett who has all of his accessories, his normal accessories. We've seen this figure uh, several times over uh, for the exception of the outfit. And that's why uh, this one is a, uh, a little bit more special than normal. And then of course we have Black Chris Stanson here. Uh, now, of course, for this particular box, he is in a comic book style cover uh, with the comic book cover on the front part of the box, which is really, really nice. And we have uh, him attacking Obi-Wan on Tatooine. Uh, if you guys don't know, yes, Obi-Wan has had an encounter with Chris Stanson on Tatooine. All right, guys, so just to give you a better look at Chris Stanson on the inside of the box, and how he does also come in the normal style box uh, for the exception of the front cover, uh, which also has the back flap and the small blurb on our Black Chris Stanson character. Uh, we have him pictured in the window. And of course he also has his bow rifle uh, as well. So a uh, very, very cool, very nice figure. He actually looks a lot better than I thought he would, uh, or especially from the promotional photos that we saw. Uh, he actually doesn't look as bad as I thought he would. So uh, I'm actually a little bit more excited to get a look at what he uh, looks like once we pull him out of the package. But of course we have the Black Series uh, Black Chris Stanson there, Hasbro logo on the front part of the box for our Black Chris Stanson figure. Then for the side of the box for our perspective characters here, we have Nalen with his band members actually there uh, playing in the background. I believe that is the uh, cantina on Tatooine uh, where we originally saw them. Uh, and of course, this would be the instrument that uh, Nalen actually plays. And then of course you have uh, Bobo Fett here uh, pictured with his throne in the background. This is the throne version of Bobo Fett uh, in his outfit. Very, very nice look at the character there. And then for your Black Chris Stanson uh, box, uh, you have what you have is comic book windows there of uh, specific moments from the comic book, which is really cool and very nice for the side of the box for your Black Chris Stanson. And then of course, for the back of the box, you have an illustration of each one of your characters there on the back of the box. You also get a small blurb on each one of your characters as well. And then all of your other readables. Your Nalen Cheadle is number five in the Star Wars A New Hope line of figures. And then your Boba Fett figure is number two in the Star Wars The Book of Boba Fett line of figures. Very cool. And then of course, your Black Chris Stanson, because he is of, of a special edition line of the Black Series, uh, these particular boxes are not numbered, but they all obviously come with a very cool uh, styling uh, for your box for each one of your characters. So that is really, really nice. All right, you guys, so we're gonna pull each one of our figures out of the box. to get a look at all of the detail on each one of our characters and a look at all of the accessories. And then of course we will have a very cool diorama involving all three of our characters, plus more at the end of the video. 
so stay tuned. All right, you guys. So we have our figures out of the box and first impressions with our figures. There's a couple of small little quirks with a couple of the figures that I have, actually with all three of these figures. Uh, there's a couple of things that I noticed right off the bat, um, which are just very minor uh, issues, nothing uh, too concerning, um, but there are uh, some very, very minor issues. Each one of these figures, and I'll cover that uh, as we go over uh, the review here. So uh, very nice uh, figures nonetheless. Uh, I, I actually, again, Chris Danson, uh, even though he is basically chewy in uh, black paint, uh, there are some other subtle differences such as the braids that he has hanging off of his uh, fur there, uh, which is really cool. Very nice touch. I actually like that uh, a lot. And then of course you have the scar that is over his eye, which he received from Obi-Wan Kenobi in that fight. Uh, with Obi-Wan Kenobi. So some very cool, subtle differences uh, between him and Chewie. And we'll get a comparison between uh, the two figures. Uh, we'll see how much uh, they are uh, alike, which basically we know that it's basically the same. Your Boba Fett figure, very interesting. They left him with some of the scarring uh, on his face. So that is really interesting. So he's not completely healed from the back to tank uh, at this moment. Uh, where the character is depicted. So that's actually very, very interesting. Let's get you a look at the detail on these figures, starting with our black Chris Stanson guys. Let's get a look. So again, as mentioned, uh, he is basically chewy with the black paint, but he does have the very, very nice uh, armor there that uh, goes over his chest. Uh, I wish they would have added some different paint apps, uh, perhaps made these brown as opposed to the all same color uh, as the armor uh, kind of shows some difference between what's actually should be metal and um, what should be brown pouches here. Um, so I think they could have done uh, some better paint apps on the armor, but of course you can customize it as you wish, uh, which I may do. Uh, I'm not a very good painter, uh, but that may be something that I do get into. And then also, uh, I didn't notice this, but he actually has some black braids on the back as well. So there are some molding differences uh, between the two uh, figures, uh, Chewy and Black Chris Stanson here. So very, very nice. And of course, he does come with his bow rifle. Uh, of course, it would be all black. Um, but again, same molding as Chewy but still very nice nonetheless. So for your articulation, he's gonna give you a straight arm like so. Elbow bend goes up about that far because of the molding. That's something they should really work on. Uh, maybe even, I, I don't know if adding some soft goods would work there, but I don't know, maybe over time, the soft goods would wither off and, and fall off. And maybe that's one reason why they don't do it. But uh, the molding there actually just hinders uh, how far up you can get him to go. And then of course, he's not gonna be able to give you the 360 with the uh, armor on his shoulders there. So uh, you do have limitations in the arm, uh, but you will have him go going up about that far. And then of course he can bring his arm back about that far. So you have a, a decent range in the arm, uh, but not as good as it should be. However, he is gonna give you a very, very good T pose, even with the armor on. So that's really cool. And of course you have your twist at the elbow, twist at the wrist as well. There is a slight back and forth hinge in the right wrist. Same would go for the left wrist. There's a slight back and forth hinge. In the leg area, he's gonna kick up about that far. The molding here, plus the armor kind of gets in the way. So he's only gonna raise his leg up about that far. Gonna get a knee high that goes up about that high. And then of course he's only gonna go back about that far. So per usual for Wookiee creature. His widest stance is going to be about that far. You have a twist at the thigh, also a twist at the knee, the ankle. It's going to go down about that far, up about that far. And of course, you have the rocker as well. And the torso is going to go down about that far, back about that far. Your the range is not too bad in the torso. Your left is going to turn about that far, right turn about that far. And in the head area, which is going to be very difficult because of all of the braids and everything in the mane, uh, he's going to go down, not nearly at all. And then back, same thing, not too much, not too much in the way of left to right. 
Um, so in the head area, you extremely are limited by the armor and all of the fur and the braids. There, there are some limitations in the articulation with this figure. For your accessories, again, he's gonna have his bow rifle just as Chewie has. Now in the Book of Boba Fett, they chose not to have him with a bow rifle, I guess to kind of distinguish him from Chewie. I guess they didn't want to confuse people. Um, so he actually did not have this weapon in the Book of Boba Fett. They gave him a, a different weapon, um, but in the comic books, obviously he carries a bow rifle uh, similar to Chewie. So not a lot of paint apps here, just all black. Um, basically the same weapon that you would get with Chewie. So they really didn't go too far with the imagination with this figure, um, but it's still nice to have this character because he is uh, in the comics and uh, obviously a big part of the book of Boba Fett. So very, very cool. On the back of the armor, you have this little notch right there where you can store the bow rifle. You kind of sit it in there and it kind of sits up like that, so. Very, very cool. So next up, we're going to get a look at Boba Fett himself. Uh, so let's get you guys a closer look at this guy. So he is really, really nice. Um, again, a very good job with the face scope. I, I do like the face scope a lot. Uh, I do appreciate the fact that they left some of the scarring on him. And we'll get a comparison of the Tusken Raider version of Boba Fett. Uh, just got him in a few weeks ago, uh, did a review of him few weeks ago you can check out that review on the channel if you have not seen it already um, but very very nice and then of course it's cool to have him in the uh, book of Boba Fett outfit fully geared up really nice the belt the attention on the belt see see how they gave him the different colors for on the pouches the pouches are brown then he has uh, something underneath so just to show the difference between the, the items that are on the belt just looks a lot nicer and i think they could have done the same with uh chris stanton there so but very cool and of course you have the jet pack as well so he is absolutely awesome looking very very cool so for your articulation, he's going to give you a straight arm like so. Elbow bend that goes back about that far. You will get the 360 all the way around with your Boba Fett figure. So that's very, very cool. You get an excellent T-pose with your Boba Fett figure. You have a twist at the elbow, twist in the wrist. There is an up and down joint in the right wrist. The left wrist has a back and forth joint. And the left wrist is going to kick out about that far. going to give you a knee high that goes up about that Kicks high. back about that far. Boba Fett's widest stance is going to be about that far. Your twist is at the thigh. You also get a twist at the knee as well. And the ankle is going to go down about that far. It goes up about that far. And then, of course, you also have the rocker as well. In the torso, he's going to go down about that far back about that far your left to right you have a really really good range as well in the head area he's going to go down that far back about that far left right head nod action so some really good articulation with your bobo fett figure very very nice and then of course for your accessories you have his jet pack which is really cool your jets are articulated on both sides. The rocket is removable, so that is cool. Of course, you have your different paint apps there around the rims of the rocket, the red there on the top. So really, really nice stuff. For his main weapon, for his blaster, it is his usual blaster. You have a couple of paint apps there. You have the machine gun gray with the wood handle. And on the end of the handle, you have some gray metal there on the inside as well. That's very nice. For a side pistol, again, you have a couple of paint apps there. The machine gun gray and the brown on the handle. So that is some really, really nice stuff as well. Fits very nicely in the holster for your figure. And then last but not least, we have the helmet for your figure, which is really, really nice. 
it's repainted. And pretty much all the scratches are gone. You still have the dent. The antenna is articulated. Have some really cool accessories for your Bubble Fat figure. Very, very cool. And then of course the helmet fits nicely on your figure. So excellent job as well there. Very good. So I had mentioned I had an issue with the Boba Fett figure and I've actually figured it out or basically it just took me to kind of break the hand in a little bit to get the finger in the trigger. But initially I could not get the uh, finger in the trigger hole, uh, but now I'm able to get the finger in the trigger hole. So I've kind of worked that issue out. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do so, but it just took a little breaking that hand in. It was really, really stiff. And uh, now that it's broken in a little bit, I'm able to uh, get that finger in the trigger hole. So kind of fixed that issue with Boba Fett. So I, I do take that back. All right, you guys. And next up is going to be Nalan Chiu of the Modal Nodes. So let's get a look at this particular figure, guys. So he is a really, really awesome looking figure. Um, I think I would say almost maybe one of the most anticipated or most desired uh, figures. And I'm very glad that Hasbro is now giving us some of the background figures in the six inch line. I hope they do more of this um, because it's really cool to get something different. And we now have something different so he is absolutely awesome looking. Uh, there's not a lot of detail to him. He just has the gray pants, black boots, and the black top, uh, but very accurate to what we saw in A New Hope. And uh, he has a very, very cool instrument. He also comes with several different instruments, and we will get a look at all of the accessories with this figure, but he is absolutely awesome. Now, I did mention there was an issue that I had with this particular figure. And as you can see, I, it, you can get the instrument in his mouth, but uh, this hand doesn't quite hold this part of the instrument well enough to kind of keep it in place. And you kind of have to sit it in this hand as well uh, to kind of get him to hold it in place. So um, it's just a little difficult to have him actually holding the instrument in his mouth or, or playing the instrument. But, you know, front on, you can't really tell. You know, it looks like it's in his mouth, so I guess it's not too bad. But of course, from the side, you can tell that uh, it's pretty far uh, from his mouth right there. So uh, that's just the very minor issue uh, that I have with this figure and probably with some better posing. Uh, if I work with it a little bit, I can probably get it a lot better than that. So uh, just my initial thoughts, uh, first time opening up the figure, uh, again, it probably is something that's very fixable, uh, if I work on the posing just a little bit more, but, um, I don't, I don't think it should be that difficult to, uh, get this guy to hold this instrument properly. And I do believe I, I have the right hands on for this figure. And it's the, these are the hands that came on the figure. I assume since this is the instrument that he does play that these would be the hands that he would use for this particular instrument. But I could be wrong. Uh, we will get a look at the different hand positions that come with this figure right after we get a look at the articulation here. So getting you a look at the articulation, it's gonna give you a straight arm like so. Elbow bend that goes back about that far. We'll give you the 360 all the way around. So that's really nice. You also get a very, very nice T-pose with your figure. The twist is at the elbow. There's also a twist in the wrist as well. And because you have the removable hands or different hand positions, uh, there is no uh, wrist joints there. They're just uh, hands on a peg on the inside. In the leg area, he's gonna kick out about that far. You get a knee high that goes up about that high. Kicks back about that far. His widest stance is gonna be about that far. You have a twist at the thigh. There's also a twist at the knee. In the ankle area, he's gonna go down about that far, up about that far. You do have the rocker in the ankle as well. In the torso, he's gonna go down about that far, back about that far. You have a very, very nice range, so you're gonna be able to put him in all kinds of different 
position as he's playing his instrument. So that's really cool. You have your left to right. And then in the head area, he's gonna go down about that far, back about that far, left to right, and head nod action. So some really, really good articulation with your Nalen Chiel figure. Very, very nice. All right, you guys. And then for his accessories, you have uh, one of many instruments here, which is kind of like a horn or a really, really cool, interesting instrument. And you have a few paint apps there with the gray and brown. Uh, I think it could have used a few more paint apps, but other than that, it's very nice and uh, some very cool detail, but again, it could have used just a few more paint apps to distinguish some of the other parts there, but cool nonetheless. And you also have what I assume here is kind of like a drum set. Uh, you have a seat and the uh, this part of the instrument as well. So again, not too familiar with this instrument, um, but it is a very, very nice piece. You have a couple of pedals there that your figure can put his feet on and uh, play this instrument. It also comes with a couple of drumsticks as well. So that is really, really cool. Very nice. You have the uh, couple of paint apps there with the uh, wiring. It leads from the instrument going down. Uh, some gray, some brown there. So really, really nice. And then you also have this instrument. I have no clue what type of instrument this would be or how it is played, uh, but it is kind of cool. It's nice to get accessories, period. And this guy comes with quite a few. So he is by far probably my favorite out of this set of figures, simply because he's new and he comes with so many accessories. So. That's, that's that's why he would be my favorite, but obviously uh, Boba Fett's always great. And of course, it's very cool to have Black Christensen. But uh, this guy, he's giving you a lot of bang for your buck with the accessories and, and everything. So very, very cool. And then lastly, you have your different hand positions uh, for the various instruments that he has there. I'm assuming that uh, a couple of these hands, and I'm assuming the top two hands would uh, hold the drumsticks. They seem the most likely, but you get four sets of hands here with your figure. So again, uh, this guy is knocking it out of the box with the accessories. Really, really cool stuff. I love the detail on the hands, the flesh color, just really, really nice job. All right, you guys, so I wanted to get you a look at your figure playing some of the instruments here. So we've already seen him play the horn-like instrument, and here is him on the drum set, which is really nice. And you do have the two hand positions to hold the drumstick. The right hand holds the drumstick really, really well. The left hand, not so much. I mean, it is in there and it, it will stay in position, but it is somewhat loose. But very, very cool. And there's a look at your figure on the drum set. Looks really, really nice. And then of course, here you have him with the other instrument. Now I have no clue how he's supposed to play that instrument. So I'm sure I have him posed totally wrong here. Um, but I just wanted to get you guys a look at uh, what it would look like to have him uh, with that particular instrument. But I have no clue how that instrument is played. I probably have him uh, totally wrong here. Uh, so please do not go by my posing here uh, for this particular instrument right here. But there is a look at your figure with that instrument. All right, you guys. So I wanted to get you a Give little you a comparison actually of the Black Christanston and Chewy figures and the different versions of the Boba Fett figure that we received in the six inch line. So starting with Black Christanston and Chewy, uh, we have a couple of different versions of Chewy and 
this one here is actually the Force Awakens uh, Chewy. So this is a much older Chewy. And then obviously, as you guys can tell with the goggles and the different weapon there and the bandolier, uh, this is the Chewy from Solo, A Star Wars Story. So uh, just getting you a look at the differences between these uh, three different versions of Chewy. And I also have the original six inch black box version with the blue line of Chewy. Uh, but I have one that's unopened and the other one is packed away somewhere. Uh, didn't feel like pulling it out. So um, there is one other version of Chewy uh, that we do have that I also have in my collection. However, uh, I just did not feel like unpacking that guy uh, from where he is stored, unfortunately. Um, you're pretty much looking at the same figure for the exception of the mouth expression on each one of our figures. Uh, Chris Danson obviously has the uh, roar mouth uh, with the open mouth and fangs. Uh, and then uh, this Chewy is a little more subdued than uh, Chris Danson there, but he's still with the mouth open a little bit. And then you have uh, the older Chewy just barely showing uh, some teeth there. So um, some really, really cool differences. And, and you can even see in the color differences of uh, Chewy there, uh, some light brown to dark brown. And then uh, here you have uh, kind of a mid-range brown and some dark brown colors there. So uh, there's a look at the differences between those guys. And then of course, for your Boba Fett figure, you have the two different versions of the Boba Fett armor. Uh, and then of course you have your Tusken Raider uh, Boba Fett. And I uh, also wanted to get you guys a look at the uh, face sculpts on each one of these guys. Getting you guys a look at the two different versions of the uh, Boba Fett figure that we received most recently, uh, particularly at the uh, face sculpt. Obviously it is the same face sculpt, same character, same actor. Um, I don't know because of the glare, you may not be able to see the scarring, but you can see there's a lot of scarring there as he's pretty much fresh out of the Sarlacc pit. And then here you can see he's healing up a little bit more, but he still has some of the scarring. So really, really cool. Very nice to have both of these figures in hand. So really, really cool stuff. And then of course here you have your two different versions of Boba Fett, uh, pre-Sarlacc and after the Sarlacc. So really, really nice, very cool. It looks like the armor obviously is a lot bigger on this, this guy, but he is much bigger now. Put a little more weight on some of that old man fat, I guess. But uh, very cool. I'm very happy to have these two different versions of the character. So that is absolutely awesome. Very, very nice stuff there, guys.
from the Book of Bubble Fett and your Black Christensen figure. So really, really cool figures. I think they are all very, very awesome. Obviously, Nolan Chill stands out the most because he comes with the most accessories. You have the three instruments, plus the drumsticks, plus the four sets of hands. Uh, so he is by far uh, my favorite uh, out of these three, uh, just simply off of the accessories alone. And then of course you have your Bobo Fett uh, in his Book of Bobo Fett gear, which is very nice, nice to have, looks awesome, great articulation. And then also you have your black Christans in the figure. Nice to have this figure. I wish they would have done a little bit better with the armor, even some paint apps to kind of show the separation between the pouches that he has and, and the armor, the metal that is actually on the armor. Uh, that would have been nice to uh, have that. But uh, other than that, I think he's a really, really cool figure. And uh, of course, it's nice to have him with Boba Fett, uh, seen as this particular character was shown in that series. So uh, really, really cool stuff. I like these figures a lot, guys. But let me know what your thoughts are. Put those comments down below. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And of course, guys, from the father to the son to the Obi-Wan Force Ghost, may the Force be with you always.